uh, we're back with another question and answer for Reddit. Uh, this week we're talking about Darcy chokes in the gi. People were questioning whether or not the fabric gets in the way, and it admittedly can be hard. It adds a lot more friction to try to sink a traditional dark stroke. What we're going to do instead is use the fabric to finish a collar grip variation of the dark stroke. Easiest way to set this up is going to be off of a loop choke, so we're going to look at that first, and then we'll look at using this as a way to attack with the first defense. Uh, so I'm going to borrow Ian here. He's going to be down in knee on belly. So I'm starting here. Traditionally for knee on belly, I'm going to have one thumb in behind the collar, and I usually grab the hip or the belt, whatever, so I can apply a bit of pressure here. What I'm looking to do is pop this open, create a bit of space here so I can sink my second hand in. One is a thumb in grip, one's a fingers in grip. I'm gonna lift Ian's head up, loop my arm over, and drop pressure here. It's a really tight choke. I wanna keep my hands as close together as possible. Make sure I sink that second grip nice and below Ian's jaw. Okay. One more time, here, in, lift him up, drop pressure. Get my submission. It's a great choke, but the problem is this top arm tends to get in the way. When I try to loop around, he's going to try to block my arm, but that provides me an opportunity to hit that darts choke. So I'm going to be here. I grab the same way I go under, only this time when I loop, Ian's defending. So that first hand is going to let go and grab his defending arm. As I pull this out of the way, I'm going to shuffle back because I'd like him on his side for this. So I'm going to pull him onto his side a little bit and then keep this first grip really nice and tight. From here, I'm going to lift my shoulder up as high as I can and drop it as far away as possible, all the way up and down that way. Putting lots of pressure down on top of the shoulder and I'm adding a bit of wrist into the choke. Okay. Grab, shuffle, pick your shoulder up, lots of pressure down. If you have to sprawl out here, sprawl out and add the wrist underneath. Pretty tight choke when it comes on. You're in a really good spot to start attacking this arm in other ways as well. If for some reason the choke doesn't work, you can spin to the back and look for other collar choke variations or other attacks onto that arm. and I'm talking about trying to sink this in traditionally, I think the fabric does kind of get in the way. I find that this can be pretty tough to finish, and I'm a lot more committed to this position. Whereas again, by being into here, pulling this across, you can see I'm up, I'm a lot more mobile, if for some reason this isn't working, you can spin around and take the back. It's gonna be a lot quicker than it would be traditionally. Okay. Uh, let us know if you have any other questions, we'll try to make a short video for you to answer as best we can. Thanks for watching, and feel free to comment below.